The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Diagnostic Trading here at TFNN.com. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to helping answer any questions that you may have. Right now, looking at the markets, we got quite a bit going on. <laughs> uh, several things going on here is we got the market is up half percent, and we also have, let's see here, the S&P is up 0.46%, the Russell is up 025 and we got oil is up 031 and we got the euro dollar moving a little bit, and corn is pretty crazy on the uh, back month there on the December contract, uh, front month not moving near as much. And so what we want to do today is go over, yesterday we went over risk and reward and how the Nadex spreads work, and we're going to build throughout this radio show and make sure you understand how to trade Nadex, how it works, how the products work, and also then we'll go into you know diagnostic trading, how to put your trade setups together um, for doing your trades. So in this series, what we want to do is we want to actually talk about um, you know the spread value, spread risk and reward. We talked about a lot of this stuff yesterday. We went over spread value, spread risk and reward, spread profit and loss, and spread settlement, and we went into examples. So if you didn't watch that show, make sure to check out the archives, and um, so you can go over that and you'll understand exactly some of the things I'm going to be referencing today. And um, what you want to understand is Nadex is also an offer. There's so many different trading opportunities throughout the day, but it can be a little daunting because you get in there, and if there's so many opportunities, you know, so many different you know options to choose from, then you know the challenge is which one do you choose? And there's a lot of different products out there, um, like you heard about on the last show. There's there's weeklies and all these things coming out. Well, you also have you have weekly binaries. You have but also you have, you have daily trades. So you can have daily spreads that you can take advantage of. And that's where Nadex comes in. You can take advantage of two-hour spreads. You can take care of one-day spreads. And they don't work like call and put and debit and credit spreads. Um, they're a lot simpler. And the Greeks are not near as, um, I guess, as big of a deal in these spreads because you don't have as much time built in and a lot of different factors. So with all these different trading opportunities, how are you going to choose which spread that you want to trade? Well, when we go ahead and look at that, what I want to do is I want to lay it down to five steps to picking a Nadex spread to sort of help you summarize this and go through this. And we're going to show you an even easier way here in the next couple of weeks. But this is a step you have to go through. You have to understand this process to get to the spread that you're looking for. And so when you're doing that, look at market. You know, what market do you want to trade? The direction. Obviously, do you want to buy? Do you want to sell? Do you want to do a neutral trade? Things like that. Do you want to do time to expiration? So, you know, we're going to talk about, you know, what are the factors you want to consider in time to expiration? And we're going to break even distance. How far does the underlying market have to move for you to make money? And then we're going to look at risk and reward and some important concepts on this and mistakes that traders make and how you can avoid a lot of those mistakes up front. So let's go ahead and look at some of the markets. Um, you can First, you want to look at what category. Uh, there's three different categories you can look at for trading spreads on Nadex. And if you don't have a Nadex account yet, um, just to really help you follow along on the show and help understand how it works, hop over to TFNN.com, click on the Nadex banner. It's going to take you right to Nadex and just click Create Account. And Nadex is a commodities exchange and is registered with the CFTC. It's based in Chicago. And it's a completely unique product not available anywhere else in the world, just here in the U.S. And click on Create Account. Once you click on Create Account, you can either open a live account. There's no uh, nothing basically required except for a $100 um, de opening deposit. And you can actually start trading, day trading, whatever, with literally a $100 deposit. And if you want to test drive it, you can go here and go open a demo account and have an account literally within seconds. So all you do is fill in your username and then your first name, last name, phone number, email address, hit apply for demo. You'll get an email right away with the password to log in, and you'll actually be able to log into the Nadex platform right away, literally within the next just minute or so, and check out exactly how it works. So go ahead and check that out. Um, but now let's check out the markets that are available. So in Nadex, you have uh, three different categories that you can look at. You can look at indices, commodities, or forex. And on the indices markets, they have quite a variety. So they have the U.S. indices, like the U.S. 500, and that mirrors the S&P E-mini futures. You have the U.S. 2000, that, that underlying market is going to be the Russell 2000, the small cap. And then you have the Wall Street 30, that's going to, the underlying market for that is going to be the Dow Jones 30 E-minis. And then you have the U.S. Tech 100, that's going to be the NASDAQ 100 E-mini futures. You also have international indices that you have access to trade. And um, right now you have the FTSE 100, the Germany 30, the Japan 225, and um, the Korea 200 is not available right now. So you actually have the FTSE 100, Germany 30, and Japan 225. The FTSE 100, uh, Germany 30 is the DAX, and Japan 225 is going to go after the Nikki. The underlying market is going to be the Nikki. And then the commodities markets, 
you have the ability to go in and trade them metals. So you can trade gold and you can trade silver. And also they've added copper now. So you have copper as well. And on the energies market, you have um, basically crude oil and natural gas. You have corn and you have soybeans. Um, and on the forex markets, you have Aussie dollar, euro dollar, pound dollar. You have euro yen, pound yen, US yen. You also have US Canadian and US franc. So you have a lot of different markets you can choose. So you may say, you know what, I want to trade, you know, forex, for instance. And so if you tra- said forex, then you may go down and go, okay, well, out of the forex pairs, I want to trade euro dollar. So then you want to go your direction. Do you want to buy or do you want to sell the euro dollar? So obviously, if you think the market's going to go up, you're bullish, then you're going to buy the spread. Okay, so you can buy or bell the, um, sell the spread. And a lot of people get confused uh, the way the NetX product's named. It's called a NetX bull spread. And really, it's just a NetX. It's bull bear spread. Okay, so bull bear box spread is what I call them because we basically they make a box if you put them on a chart. So if you buy it, you're bullish. If you sell it, you're bearish. And you can do either one. You can enter any time after it starts and before it expires. Okay, so if you think the market's going to go down, sell the spread. And so once you pick your direction, you're now going to focus on a time to expiration. And remember, all the times listed on the NADEX exchange are Eastern time. So uh, just make sure you line that up with your current time zone when you're checking out the different opportunities that are available to you. And if your trade is you know, going to be a scout trade, or let's say it's based on a news announcement, or maybe you're just going in for a short move for whatever reason, then a shorter term trade may actually carry less risk for you. Okay. Um, however, you're gonna have less time to be right. So people go, why would it carry less risk? Well, just like any, you know, it's a futures option, but again, it's not a call or put or debit or credit. There'll be time value in there. So do you want one day of time value? Do you want one hour of time value? You know, so the less time value, the less you have to pay for that time value. Um, and so that could be a big benefit to you. But one of the big benefits in Nadex is having time to be right. So if you want to buy or sell the Euro dollar or the S&P or whatever you want to buy or sell, then you can go in and take advantage of that and have more time to be right with a longer term spread. So if you think it's going to take longer to move to that price point, or you just really want to have a trade that has till the end of the trading day, then you can look at the 415 um, expirations on a lot of the different um, spreads that are available. And they actually start trading. Now you actually have the euro dollar and the forks. You can actually start trading those at 6 o'clock on Sunday night. So um, they've even bumped up those hours. They've extended the ag hour. So there's a lot of time frames available as early as 6 and all the way to as late as 4.15 the next day. Um, break even distance. Okay, so on break even distance, a lot of people think, well, I should look at risk before break even distance because, you know, what do we got so far? We have our market and we have, you know, our direction and we have our time to expiration and then we have our break even distance. So, so many people go, you know, a $5 risk, that's the trade I want to do. But that's also like if you're looking at, let's just say, a normal call or put option, that's like buying a call or put option, maybe it's just way out of the money. Yeah, your risk is low, but your probability is really low because it has to move so far. So if your risk is only 5 bucks, but the underlying market has to move, say, 50 ticks to be break-even, it may not be the best trade. And we'll talk about how to look at that. We'll pull some charts up, and we'll pull up some different spreads and then analyze those. Um, but you may decide, hey, I'd rather risk $10, even though that's twice as much as $5, um, because it only has to, say, move 4 ticks to be break-even. So less movement required then, you know, less money required for you to break even and eventually or potentially profit. So, you know, just make sure you always look at your break even. How far does it have to move? And it's really simple to figure out how far it has to move. You just look at where is the market currently priced and where is the spread priced. So if we go over here and let's go ahead and pull an example of that up right now. If we're looking at the S&P, we have the market priced at 1354. Well, if I go over and I pull up, Nadex over here, and I'll pull up a demo account here, and you can see the bull spreads, and we'll go to US 500, and we'll just check out you know this market right here. So these spreads that are going to expire here at one o'clock Eastern time, and I have different ones that expire as late as you know 4:15 Eastern. But looking at these spreads, I can see you know what is the underlying market and what is the price of the spread. So the price of the spread over here is you know 1354.7. So it's really close. There's not big of a move to break even. Uh, basically, it's, it's just straddling the market. This one's a little bit further. Now, if I go further out in time, I may see that, okay, this one's down at 1354.2, or, you know, this one's down at 1352. So there's further move required for this spread to be at break even. And we'll talk about some of the advantages of that and why you might want to choose that spread or why you, why you might not want to choose that spread. But always be looking at how far does the market have to move before I really start making money. Because if the market goes down and, let's say, settles at 3 o'clock Eastern here at 1352.5, then you basically would get your money back that you put into the trade. Your risk capital would be returned back to you. So anything below that is where you're actually going to start making money. 
So you're really expecting the market to move below this price if you're choosing this spread. So we have that. Now let's go ahead and look at the fifth step here. Um, and you know, if, if you don't know, we have some people that want to know about how to calculate break-even distance. So if you want to know how to bre calculate break-even distance, you're going to go into a buy, and it's really simple. Look at the underlying market's last price minus the sell price. And people go, wait a minute, that, you know, that doesn't completely make sense to me. Well, if I'm going to buy, okay, I'm going to have to get out at the sell price, right? So I want to, I want to sort of factor in my bid-ask spread, okay? So, again, if we go over here and I'll pull up this, okay. So if I want to buy this spread... And the market's at 1355.2, and this is at 1355. Then, you know, if I want to get out, I actually have to overcome that distance. So really, I'm not going to look at the buy side. I'm going to look at the sell side when I want to buy, because that's the difference between where I get in and where I get out of the spread. So, you know, I got a few ticks I got to make up right there. And um, but it's you know it's trading pretty on par. And but a couple of the other ones, this one has to move further. So this one, if I want to buy this spread, because it actually would have a much lower risk. If I went and I looked at this trade and the, the risk on this trade would only be $22, whereas the risk on this trade, you know, would be $52. So if I decided I wanted to buy this spread instead, then the mark would actually have to get, if I bought it at 1357.2, it's going to have to actually get up to at least 1356.7 and, you know, a little bit higher to make up for that break-even distance. All right. Um, same thing on the sell side, buy price minus the underlying market last price. Okay. So really just make sure you calculate it in the bid-ask spread when you're looking at it. Or you can do the really simple formula, which is look at the price you get in is where the market has to get to for you to be break even. And that, that really, to me, is the simplest formula. Again, the, where is the market priced? And, you know, what's the difference between that and the spread? If you do that, then you literally have the formula down. Now, risk-reward ratio. For every dollar you risk, and this is on, of course, any kind of trading strategy that you're using, whether it be futures, forex, stocks, ETFs, anything like that, you have to look at your risk reward ratio. What is the potential? Because you want to have probability um, and profitability in your favor, right? So, what is the this is risk reward ratio is all about profitability. So, if we're looking at profitability, then you know a risk reward ratio of one to 0.5 simply means for every one dollar at risk, there's a potential to make an additional fifty cents. And a risk reward ratio of one to one means for every one dollar at risk, there's a potential to make an additional dollar. And a risk reward ratio of 1 to 20 means for every dollar at risk, there is a potential to make an additional $20. So this is going to become huge when we start looking at reward in the next segment because what you're going to ruin, what you do is when you have two different spreads, you may actually have the exact same risk, the same time to expiration, but you could have a lot greater risk reward ratio with a lot more profit potential and choosing the, not really necessarily a bad spread, but not the, the best spread out of the two uh, could cost you a lot of opportunity. So make sure um, you go ahead and sign up for that uh, Nadex demo account if you haven't already. And, um, you know, give us a call if you have any questions. You can call in right now. And uh, the number here is 1-877-927-6648 or 727-445-1044. All right, stay right there. We'll be right back after the break. Kate Stalter's exciting newsletter, Low Price Leaders, has just launched, and now is a great time to get a two-week free trial. Every Wednesday afternoon, Kate sends out her weekly newsletter to her subscribers where she focuses on small-cap stocks with market caps under $2 billion, as well as low-priced equities with share prices ranging from $5 to $12. Kate tracks a variety of stocks with a combination of strong technical support and solid fundamentals. Many of the stocks featured will be recent IPOs. These newer issues are often some of the biggest price gainers in the market and provide an excellent opportunity for substantial gains if timed correctly. You can catch Kate Stalter live on Tiger TV with her small cap roundup every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and visit TFNN.com right now to get your two-week free trial to her brand new newsletter, Low Priced Leaders, while while locking in the low introductory monthly rate of only $37.50 per month, almost a 50% discount. Act now. 
With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you gain access to each host charts and computer screen as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, Kate Stalter, Dave White, Larry Pesavento, or Victor Jones, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV yet, then visit TFNN.com today to see what you're missing. Millionaires are made every day. The fact is, living your dreams is possible. Someone, somewhere is going to get rich. My recommendation is, let that be you. Each day, someone is making the decision to better themselves and creating a plan to fulfill their financial dreams. Let that be you. The key to turning dreams into reality is to take massive action. Let that be you. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Master Show with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN. And I can help you with your journey to great wealth. I'll show you how to create the ultimate financial edge, a set of tools, insights, and strategies that are part of my daily newsletter service, Mastering Probability. You'll have direct access to me by phone, email, and my private library of trading and investing secrets for 30 days with an unconditional money-back guarantee. I'll take your trading to the next level. Click on my name, Steve Rhodes, on the homepage of TFNN.com and turn your dreams into reality. Mastering Probability, folks. Let that be you. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to archives of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Diagnostic Trading Out here with Daryl Martin. And uh, we just closed up looking at risk-reward ratio. So on your risk per, per spread, you want to manage the risk, then you want to manage your profit. And, uh, you know, that's just an important thing to remember because spreads help you manage your risk automatically because you can't lose more than the margin required. And that's that's one of the great benefits. You don't have to worry about gaps, fast markets, things like that. At the same time, it can be a little bit easy to get lazy and go in and just start, you know, picking spreads because the risk is low. And you really want to make sure that, you know, you count for how much risk am I willing to risk per trade. And that way you can help not only pick your right spread, but the quantity of spreads that you want to trade so you can trade consistently. Your reward per spread, that's going to be how much profit potential exists within each spread. And some very important tips. Some trades that you're going to look at are going to have the same risk. They're going to have the same expiration. But one of the two spreads will have a lot more potential reward. Sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a lot more. And we'll pull up some live examples and look at that. But it's really important that you understand that those spreads can have very similar risk and reward. And uh, you know, if you pick the wrong spread, then you're giving up a lot of potential profit. So let's say spread A is risking $10, and the break-even distance on that is 5 ticks. So it only has to be 5 ticks to be break-even. And it expires at, we'll just say, 3 o'clock. And the maximum potential profit on that is $95. Spread B is risking $10. The break-even distance is 5 ticks, and it also expires at 3 o'clock. Your maximum potential profit on spread B has a profit potential of $195. So which spread do you choose? You know, the answer, obviously, is pretty obvious. It's spread B. But it's so easy for people to, you know, go, oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Okay, I'll take it. And, you know, they, they pick the wrong spread. 
So you want to make sure you go in and pick a spread that uh, gives you the maximum profit potential whenever there's ones that have very similar risk and reward up on there. Um, once you've done that, then you're going to look at the distance to the floor to the ceiling. This is a really quick method to help you out. Is simply go in there without having to open up and do all the calculations and everything else. Um, and you can go in and you can just look at, okay, where is the market priced at right now? And where is the spread priced at? And just look, you know, okay, if, it, if the market is priced, if we're looking at, the, we'll just say euro dollar, if the market was priced at 1.2273, then I can go over and go, okay, well, which ones have either floors or ceilings? If I'm looking to sell, then I want one that has the ceiling close to me, right? Because if I was going to put a box on here, so we'll go ahead and just put a box on, and we'll say, you know, I would want one that has a box like that, okay? Because that means that's my maximum risk, that's my profit potential. But if I'm buying, I would want one that is closer to this, where the floor is closer. So I want the floor to be closer whenever I am buying a box. I want the ceiling to be closer whenever I'm selling a box. So all I have to do is look on the Nadex platform and you know start narrowing down my options. So I can go in here and go to indices, forex, bull spreads, go to euro dollar, and go, okay, the euro dollar is currently, you know, where is the euro dollar currently priced? And there's sort of a nice thing in here, too, they have built in. Is they actually show, um, oh, we'll put the euro dollar spread here, and we'll click on to say buy. And you'll actually see the underlying market. Now, this is only for Forex because Forex data is free. They can pipe that through. And But on uh, the Forex, you'll actually see the underlying market's price. So if you know, okay, the underlying market is at 1.2270, okay, then I want to find ones that are close to 1.2270. So like 1.2280 is close to that. So that would be you know an optional trade for me that I could look at. And the risk on that trade would be 12 bucks. The profit potential on that trade it would be $88 um, should the euro dollar fall below 1.268. I'm going to be at break even. If it goes down to 1.2180, I could actually make $88 on this trade. And no matter what happens, I can't lose more than 12 bucks on the trade. So it helps me easily find it without having to do all the calculations, just what spreads either floor or ceiling is close to where the current market is located. So once you have that down, um, and you know, like I said, that's just a quick rule that I use, then one of the things you can do is you can make a watch list, and you can add spreads to the watch list. And Nadex makes this really easy to make a watch list. And, you know, you can add all of them if you wanted to. I recommend sort of doing the method I just showed you. Look at the ones that are close to the floor or ceiling. So that way, you know, you can rule out a lot of the spreads that don't really apply at all. Um, and then you can do your calculations and remove the spreads from the watch list. And you keep the spreads that are potential trades and compare them and see which ones, you know, you think are the best trades. And, again, here in a couple of weeks, we're going to show you a way to do this in seconds. Um, but just so you understand exactly how it works, when you log into Nadex, over here you'll see a button that says New Watch List. So you can click on New Watch List and hit Save. And, you know, I've actually found out there's a, a sort of a cool feature in here. If you have made a watch list on the Nadex platform, then there's, there's a good and bad of that. So like we have a Euro dollar. So if we go over here and we add this right here, and just by expanding that, you can click on here and click Add to Watch List. And it'll ask me which watch list I want to add it to. Okay? So it adds a step, and I, you know, choose Euro dollar. I hit Submit. So I can do that method, but if I want to get rid of all that, I can literally just have one unique watch list. And, uh, here we go. and um, I'll show you exactly how that watch list process works when we come back after the break in a way to get rid of that second step to make it even faster. All right, we'll be right back. I call with any questions, and uh, we'll talk to you on the other side of the break. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when temporary market spikes move against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the advantage of keeping your trades open even when the market temporarily spikes against you. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique short-term binary options that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
Would you like a personal update from Tom O'Brien as to what equities he's trading and what his daily trading plan is before the market opens each morning? Every market day, Tom O'Brien sends out his daily newsletter, Market Insights, to hundreds of subscribers that rely on his daily recommendations when it comes to navigating these highly volatile markets we're dealing with. As recently as May 21st, Market Insights subscribers closed out all five open positions for a combined profit of over 68% in one day. Profits range from 6.5% to over 24%, and all of these trades had been initiated within the previous 30 days. Now is the perfect time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's explosive trading newsletter, Market Insights, an $85 value. Tom breaks down the market each morning with his market take and provides trade recommendations including precise stops and target profit zones, leaving nothing left to guessing. Log on to TFNN.com today and sign up for your two-week free trial. Make sure you're a subscriber the next time Market Insights subscribers close out multiple winning trades. Take action and sign up for your free trial today. If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intraweek trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi there, this is Daryl Martin with the Diagnostic Trading Hour. So uh, if you haven't called in yet, go ahead and call in. We have you know uh, plenty of lines available here. We can answer any questions that you have. And we want to go ahead and, and we we're going over the watch list last. And one of the tricks I want to show you in the Nadex platform was right now, if you click right here and you click on add to watch list, you're going to have a second step because it's going to add you which watch list do you want to add it to. But what I can do is if I only have one watch list, okay, and I, so I'm going to delete this second one and then I can edit it and I can call it anything I want to. So I can call it, you know, Euro USD or whatever I wanted to call it and hit submit on it. Now, when I go over to add a watch list, it's not going to ask me for that step. It's just going to put it in my watch list. So that's a really fast way to get them in there. It gets you around having to go in and constantly, um, you know, change out the the screen and go in and basically you don't have to add in that second step. And every step you can get rid of is uh, it's great. It's just one more step that saves you time. So I recommend only having one watch list so that way you don't have to add the second step for adding them on. Now, when you do go in and you you know you rename your watch list or however you want to do it, and then click submit. And like I said, it'll add that second step if you don't do that. But you go down, you can, you can choose your watch list right there from the watch list drop down menu. Okay, so just click watch list here. You'll see a drop down. You can choose the watch list you want to look at. And then what you're able to do is go in and you can analyze each one of the spreads. Now, again, one of the things I suggest is go in and just get rid of, don't put the ones on the watch list that don't have a floor or ceiling close to where the market is currently trading, unless you want them on there for some reason. But if you don't put them on there, then you don't have to analyze them. It saves you time. 
So to analyze it, to look at what your risk and reward is, you simply click on you know the bid or the offer, put in a you know if you want to buy, put in the, click on the offer. If you want to sell, click on the bid, and choose your side, um, your size. So like one, and it'll instantly populate the profit and the loss for you. And so you can look right here. You know, risk of thirteen dollars, profit of two thirty seven. That's pretty good. I'll probably keep that one. You know, and you can also you know what's your risk reward ratio? Well, it's, you know, it's great. It's almost you know twenty to one there. So looking at that, then I know that hey, that's that's the spread I'll keep. And when you're doing that, then you go through and you do all your calculations, and you could put them in a chart. You can have an Excel table, or you know we're going to have a similar tool like this. We're actually going to be making available and showing you soon. And what it will do for you is it'll actually show you the expiry minute. So how long do I have till expiration? Remember, you want to look at that. We talked about that, and we know that you know we're looking to sell the euro dollar. Now that we know that, we look at the break-even distance and rule out any of them that have a break-even distance that don't wind up with what we want. And then we'll look at the risk and the reward on the trades. And then we'll go ahead and look at the reward risk ratio. So once you went through and you've crossed off all the ones that don't meet your criteria, then you're able to narrow it down. You can remove them from your watch list. So you can do it through this method, or you can just go through and you can manually open up each one and just click remove on the ones that you don't like. Once you've done that and narrowed it down, now let's look at the ones that are available. So out of the ones that are available on here, we see that we have basically three spreads that met our criteria. Okay. And we're looking for, you know, a pretty short-term move happening pretty soon. And this one has 11 minutes till expiration. These two have 71 minutes till expiration. Probably not, you know, in favor of the 11-minute one unless you think there's going to be a move literally in the next 10 or 11 minutes. Uh, we go over and look at break-even distance. Well, the 11-minute one only has two ticks or pips to move to break even. The other two have eight or nine ticks. That's really not that big of a move in the euro dollar relative to how much it, you know, does move on a consistent basis. And, I mean, just in the last, you know, what, 20, 30 minutes, it's easily moved more than that. So... You know, I'm not too concerned on these three spreads about break-even distance. Now I'm going to look over at risk. Well, the one that's a shorter time frame actually has a higher risk. So, you know, with that in mind, and the reason it has a higher risk is because it actually has a higher ceiling, and we're selling it. So since it has a higher ceiling right here, then, you know, I may not even want that one. So it got 11 minutes against it. It has, you know, more risk than the other two against it. I've crossed that one off my list. I'm not going to be trading this spread. So now I have two spreads to choose from that meet my criteria. This one has 71 minutes. This one has 71 minutes. Selling both of them. They both have the same ceiling. They do have different floors. So that'll come out to play over here in reward. Um, as far as break-even distance, eight or nine ticks, you know, who cares? It's, you know, one tick difference. Rick reward, this one's actually a little bit less. Um, but again, you know, who really cares? I mean, you're talking a dollar, okay? But the reward is huge. This is a very important piece. The reward on this one is only $85.20. The reward on this one is $236.20. So my reward risk ratio over here, 7.22, meaning for every dollar risk, I could have a potential to make $7.22. On this one, for every dollar risk, I have the potential to make $21.87. So out of these two trades, it becomes really clear that with same expiration and basically same risk, same move to break even, this is clearly the better trade. And this wouldn't have necessarily been a bad trade if I would have chosen this trade right here. I would have given up a lot of potential profit basically 150 bucks of potential profit right there by choosing this trade over this trade. So it's important that you choose the right trade. Make sure you look at it. And a tip for you on that is trades that usually have a wider width are the ones that often if the, the risk and reward are similar, those are the ones that are going to have the larger reward because they're wider, so 250 ticks. So it's obviously going to have the potential to make more money um, depending upon where the price is at, has the potential to make more money than the one that's only 100 ticks wide. Okay, so when I understand that, that goes, okay, well, I want to check this out. I'll, I'll look at this and I'll look at this, but I always, if I'm, looking at not, if I'm not looking at the widest ones available, I always want to check out the wider ones to see if there is one that has more potential profit. So, again, we don't look at market. You want to check out direction. Okay, so market like Forex, and then, you know, I want to go into, say, Euro Dollar, and then direction I want to buy or sell, and then I want to go into time to expiration. So at, when is it going to expire? Then I'll look at break-even distance. How far does it have to move before it profits? And then my risk and my reward. So once you've figured that out and you've really narrowed it down, then you can pull up you know, different markets. So we could pull up literally the S&P 500, or we could go over and we could look at even the Euro dollar like we've been talking about so far. And uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll, just, you know, we'll pull up the Euro dollar and check it out and see what spreads actually exist and you know, the differences on those spreads. Um, so let me see here. So again, you got your box. And you want to, you know, ideally draw your box once you enter the trade or once you sort of chosen your trade, and that'll make it, you know, just a little bit easier for you. And you can always clean up. It's sort of nice. You can, you can move this platform around any way that you want to, and you can make, you know, different layouts, um, you know, and set them up any way you want to. So if we go over here to indices and we go to, not indices, but uh, Forex, and we go to bull spreads, then I can choose Euro Dollar, and I can actually go in and I can compare the different ones. 
So to save time on here, I'm going to go through and uh, use a quick tool that's going to help us save some time so we can compare a couple different ones. And on this, we're going to look at two of them that expire at 3 o'clock. So we're going to have the same expiration time. Okay, so these two right here both expire at 3. And they have, they have the tiered spread, so you're going to have your upper, upper, middle, and lower spread. Okay? And we want to look at, you know, where is the market currently trading? Again, on Forex, you just click on here and pull it up. And you'll be able to see, you know, where the market's currently trading at. So that way you can rule out any that maybe don't apply to you. Once you figure that out, then you'll be able to start adding spreads to your watch list. And you can narrow it down from there. So the two trades that I see that are setting up, if we were to, let's say, just go short, sort of, you know, fade the market here, then we'd be looking at the 2300 to 2200 spread. So this spread right here. So I'm going to add this one to a watch list. And then we also have another spread over here, which is the 2040 to 2290 spread. And uh, so we'll go on. We'll add that one in. And let's see here. <laughs> Refresh our screen. All right, 2040 to 2290. We'll add that one to our watch list. And now we can go down to our watch list over here or up here. So if I click watch list on this, it'll actually overlay it. And if you don't know where your watch list is, I mean, there's all sorts of things you can do, but you can literally close down the windows, you know, markets, whatever, and this quick watch list like this. And it makes it where it makes it really easy for you to find them. And so I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose my Eurodollar watch list. And I did add on an extra spread on there uh, earlier when we were doing the example. So to remove that, all I got to do is go here and say just remove from watch list, and that'll get rid of that spread. Now I have these two spreads that I can compare. And an easiest way to compare them is actually to go in and to click on tear off ticket. So if I click on tear off ticket, then that'll open that up, and it'll show right here. And choose one. Um, and let's see here. And then we'll also tear off this ticket. And the reason I say tear the ticket off is because you can have two tickets open at the exact same time. So once your two tickets are open, then that allows you to go in on the buy side there and see exactly how everything's working. So I can go in and now if I'm looking at selling them, I'll click sell. So we'll look at, like I said, we're going to fade the market. And now I can compare them side by side. Okay. So this one is only risking $30. This one is risking $21. This one can make $70. This one can make $229. And, you know, so that helps you really understand how the spreads work. And look at that risk right there. 21 30 Obviously, I like this one a lot better. It has less risk. It has a lot more reward. And I could have easily have chosen the spread if I hadn't just compared them side by side. And all we had to do is look at two of them because they were close to the floor and the ceiling. So the market's right now trading at, you know, 1.2270. And I go over here and I look at this, and it's 1.2300, 1.2290. So I know the market's trading close to those, so that's how I was able to narrow that down really fast. And it let me know, okay, these are the two spreads I want, and I sell these spreads. So again, that has to be a trade that you're comfortable with. It has to line up with the direction you actually want to trade. And you can go over here and check this out and look at where the market is currently trading at 1.2269. So with the 1.2269, you know, the market sort of seems to be stalling out. It looks like it might fall back. And, uh, you know, I have a little bit of time till you know, the trade's over. So, obviously, there's no reason for me to do this trade. I'm not only going to cross it out, but I also want to pull it off my watch list. Okay? So, that way, I'm not looking at the trade as an option anymore for me. So, I can just click remove. And now, this is the one trade remaining on my watch list. I can come back to it at any time I want to. And if I want to place the trade right now, it's really simple. I just hit place order. And that'll actually put the order in right away. And then over here, I can actually see my working orders. And if I have any working orders. Uh, and if I don't have any working orders, then I can go over and I can look at my open positions and see where those are at. So if I have, you know, if I have open positions, if I'm going to fill, they'll actually be populating in here. And then, let's see, let me pull that up. There it is. All right, so my working order is down here. And so once I have my working orders here, and I sold one, and it shows me the price that it's working at right now. So I haven't got filled on that trade yet. So I can pull it up. I can look at it. All I do is click on the green arrow, pull it up, look at it, and see you know where is the market at. It's moved down a few ticks. That's why I haven't got filled. So and I also I clicked on the ask price. So you know trying to get in there and see if I can get anything. But maybe I just want to get in right now. I'm going to get in at the bid price. So I just change it and I click bid, 
and that'll automatically update my order. It shows me my risk is $24. Hit amend order. Order instantly goes in, and now I'm filled on that position. And now that I've filled the position, now I've got to look at, you know, maybe where's my profit target? So maybe my profit target, let's see, if I got filled at 1.266 on this trade, and depending upon what kind of retracement, maybe you think it's going to do a 50% pullback from here, so I may go in and you'll put on a Fibonacci line. And go to drawing tools, do Fibonacci retracements, and I'll go, okay, low to the most recent high. And so, therefore, I think that, you know, there's a good chance we could pull back to this level. It sort of stalled right here before it fell further. And again, it stalled here again before it shot up. So let's go for, you know, a target of 1.235. And I can go in and I can place my order to buy it back at 1.235. And again, all I did to do that was I just clicked on my open position on the green arrow right there. It instantly opens a ticket in the opposite direction with the quantity of my open position. I can also edit that. So if I had like five contracts, I can make it, you know, one or two or three if I want to do different tiers of take profit orders. And so if I go in, I put that in now, hit place order. And if I got in that order, let's see here, we'll do the quick, uh, simple math. All it is is addition and subtraction. So it's sort of nice. You don't have to go through and do a whole lot of different things. Um, but if we go in and do the math on that, and we got filled at 1.2266. And then if we have a working order to take profit at 1.2235, then we make a profit of 31 ticks on the trade. We had a $26 risk on the trade. That's greater than a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. And you know, you may decide to do that. You may decide to let it go further. That's just my initial target profit based on what I'm looking at on the charts. You know, obviously I wouldn't think it would go much lower than 2190. And that's really important for you to consider too when you're looking at these trades is, you know, look at what you really think the market has the possibility of moving to. Of course, the market can always surprise you and do more than is expected. But, you know, think about what you think your realistic profit goal is. Because sometimes, you know, you may end up risking money that you don't need to risk because you don't, you think, you know, I just want to have all this profit potential. Well, maybe it's not even worth that. Maybe the risk is greater on a trade that expires at the exact same time. And you decide, you know what, yeah, that one may have more profit potential, but it also has more risk. I'm going to take the one with lower risk because I don't think it's going to go there. And uh, so we can go over and we can look at this trade. And right now, uh, let's see here, you click on display, by the way. And you can also drag and make these larger. But you can get rid of icons that you don't want um, to look at. So I know it's expiring today. I don't really need that on there. And I can, you know, um, how many are working, I can leave that on there. Um, for my, you know, my display, and I can go up here to my open position, and to monitor that, same thing. I can click on visible columns, I can get rid of news. I probably don't want to really care about looking at the chart on my open position, so I can get rid of that. Not really concerned about what time I place the trade or when it expires, so I can get rid of that information. And again, you can always bring it back just by putting it on there. And then currently right now, I'm just down $4, basically my bid-ask spread, a little bit of movement. And if the uh, euro dollar does continue to move down, then you know I had the potential profit so long as it closes lower than 1.2266. So right now, if the market closed at 1.2268, I'd only lose two dollars out of my original $26 risk on the trade. And that really is how simple it is to find the right one. And uh, you know it seems like a whole lot, but if you narrow down what we said, um, you know it's not that much. Just make sure you go in, find the ones close to the floor ceiling, add them to your watch list, and compare risk or reward. And you'll have narrowed it down. All right, we'll see you on the other side of the break here. And markets are moving. And uh, we'll take a few more looks at the market when we get back on the other side of the commercial break. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain 
contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and Dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Diagnostic Trading Hour with Daryl Martin. And uh, just looking at the markets right now, we got the S&P up 0.8%, the Russell 2000 up 0.5%, we got the NASDAQ up 06 and we got the Dow up 08 Oil's also moving at 0.8% uh, up. And we got the euro dollar and pound dollar pretty flat at 0.02%, 0.07% respectively there. And looking over at corn and soybeans, coin has moved up and dropped a lot off. And I um, just wanted to go back, and we were looking at a trade over here. One thing I want to show you is a lot of people, when they're looking at Nadex, they see the binaries and they see the spreads. And they try to figure out, well, which one's better. And it all depends upon what you think is going to happen. Okay? Um, so what I want to do is I want to show you a binary trade with the same sort of profit goal and profit target and show you how much more money you can actually make using a binary, but the downside of that as well, all right? Using the spread is a lot like using the underlying market. It's a lot like trading the euro dollar. So when it's moving up five ticks, you know, then you have the chance to make, say, five ticks, okay? Sp binaries are completely different as they're a true or false statement. And basically, the true or false statement will come, be either true or false at the end of expiration. So we have our trade we put on that was a spread. I thought it'd be, you know, just a good example to put on one as an example as a binary to show you 
um, how the trade would compare if we put them side by side. So if we go over here and we look at this, and we know that you know the, in the trade that we did down here, okay, and I'll shrink this up and tighten this. We have this open position, you know, very small risk. So we're risking like twenty-four dollars on the trade, no big deal. Uh, you know, we're we're totally comfortable with that risk. And you know, we have a profit target here, it's gonna give us a little over thirty dollars profit. Um, for us to make all that profit, it has to get down here to one point two three five. Basically, do a fifty percent retracement from its recent low to its recent high. And you know that's a good risk reward ratio one to one. If it expires right at where we sold it, at one point two to six six, then we'll break even on the trade, and we'll get all of our risk capital return back to us. Now we may decide if we're really confident it's going to move down that far, we may decide we want to choose a binary, okay? And a binary basically said it's true or false. And again, what was our profit target on this trade? As an example, was one point two two three five. So on this example, I could go over here and I could find a binary, and it's pretty simple. You just go to log in, go to Forks Binaries, and then scroll down over here, and you'll be able to basically choose the daily binaries on the Forks trades. So on the Forks Binaries right here, again, click Euro Dollar, click, um, you know, you can choose the three o'clock ones or the dailies. The dailies are going to give you a lot more options, okay, and a lot more choices to choose from. And we're going to scroll down, and then we want to find one close to where our profit target is. So if our profit target is down here at 1.2235, then let's find one that's close to 1.2235. And um, let's see here. So 1.22240240. Okay, so we get 1.224. That's a little bit above our profit target. So it doesn't have to even move as far. And you'll be amazed when you look at this. Okay, if we actually chose this trade and we hit Excel on there and choose one, our risk is $3 and we make $97 if it actually hits that price point. So huge profit on there. You could also go in and let's say we want to equalize the risk, okay? So we had about, you know, $24 profit. So you can also, you can go in here, you can just click up until it gets there, whatever, you, however you want to do it. We'll make $776 if it actually does drop back down and make that. So that's very obviously tempting because when you're looking at it, you're like, wow, I make, 20, I make $776 on a $24 risk. That is outstanding, and that, that is, that's a great risk reward. At the same time, here's what you have to remember. If it does not close below or equal to 22.40, so you're saying the statement is false. So if the statement is the euro dollar will close greater than 1.2240, if you buy it, you're saying that's true. And you're saying, you know, buy 3 o'clock Eastern. So if I say false, I'm selling it. If that statement is not true at 3 o'clock Eastern, then... I will lose the entire $24, even if it has moved down. So that's sort of a benefit if you get that, that neutral benefit there on the spreads versus the binaries. So we'll go into some more trades, more examples. Make sure to call in, ask any questions. Make sure to email me. And we're here. All right, we'll talk to you tomorrow, same time, and same channel, tfnn.com. Thanks for uh, tuning in to the Diagnostic Trading Hour.